Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Ali. I'm a junior doctor working in Cambridge. And in this video, I'm going to be answering the age old question of whether an iPad Pro is better for reading or whether an Amazon Kindle is the one that you should go for. This is a question that has been plaguing philosophers for thousands of years, but I'm hoping to answer it for you as quickly as possible in this very short video. So basically the answer is I would recommend a Kindle for reading most things. A Kindle is absolutely amazing because it looks like you're actually reading on paper. So this is the book Bad Blood. Uh, it's about Theranos, that uh, blood testing startup that turned out to be a bunch of lies. But it's a sort of book that I'm going to be reading cover to cover. It's a sort of book I would, I would read from start to finish. And therefore, reading it on a Kindle is absolutely perfect because it looks like real paper. It feels like reading an actual book. And I've been using the Kindle to read about 99% of the books I've read for the last like 10 plus years. The, the only thing an iPad is good for, in my opinion, when it comes to reading is for things like medical textbooks, where you want to be able to kind of scan it from page to page. You want to be able to flick around. You want to be able to grab your Apple Pencil and maybe annotate some bits and bobs on your iPad. That's the sort of thing that is just completely impossible to do with a Kindle. So if the sort of reading you're gonna be doing involves actually reading, cover to cover, 100% you should get a Kindle. Even if you have an iPad, it's just a far better experience reading on a Kindle because it looks like real paper. You can read it in bed, it doesn't strain your eyes. The new Kindles are waterproof, iPad is not waterproof. The Kindle is cheap and light, you can carry it around wherever you go. The iPad is not cheap, it's kind of light. You can sort of carry it around, it's quite hard to use the iPad Pro one-handed. You could use the iPad mini one-handed, um, but fundamentally reading on an iPad feels like reading on a screen, whereas reading on a Kindle feels like reading on real paper. That completely sells the Kindle for me. Like, <laughs> yeah, like if, you, if you want a device for reading, you have to go for the Kindle. If you want a device for browsing through textbooks or PDFs or whatever and annotating them, then the iPad is better. I use both extensively. Whenever I go on holiday, I take both the Kindle and the iPad Pro with me. And people sometimes say, oh, why are you carrying both devices? Can't you just use the Kindle app on your phone to read? And yeah, you can, but it's just so, so nice reading on a Kindle. Reading on a phone feels like, you know, I'm just looking at my phone. So I'd 100% recommend the Kindle. In fact, I've made a couple of videos about this. The Kindle is probably the second most valuable purchase I've ever made in my life after the original camera that I bought, which kickstarted my YouTube channel. So I've been a Kindle fanboy since like 2008 or something like that. And that's only gonna continue. I've got hundreds of books on Kindle and I automatically assign them to my Goodreads account when I'm reading so I can keep track of everything I've read. I also have the Kindle app on the iPad and it's all right on the iPad. I sometimes, you know, if I absolutely have to, I would use the Kindle app to read on the iPad. But it's just, it's just not as nice. It's like reading on a screen rather than reading on paper. So yeah, that's that's pretty much it. If you want to read, then you should get a Kindle. If you have an iPad but don't have a Kindle, I would still probably recommend you buy the Kindle because it's just for a far better experience. If you have a Kindle, should you get an iPad? Well, maybe, but not for reading purposes. <laughs> if you want to get an iPad, you should get an iPad for all the other reasons to get an iPad. The iPad is not a device very well suited for reading things cover to cover. It's amazing for all sorts of other things. So that's pretty much it. Get the Kindle. The Kindle's amazing. I'll put an affiliate link in the description below. So if you buy it, I'll make like 1% commission from Amazon uh, for selling something from their website. So yeah, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider doing so. Have a lovely day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.